Now let's talk to Sun News contributor and liberal strategist Warren Kinsella about our two top scandals, the Senate spending scandal and, of course, the latest with our Toronto Mayor Rob Ford. So Jessica Hume telling us there's a little bit of back and forth happening in Ottawa. The liberals want to maybe drag their feet on this one a little no, bit. Uh, what's no, going on no. here? No. As a matter of fact, I checked that when I saw some of the uh, reports last night, I spoke to a very senior Justin Trudeau advisor, and he used a word that I cannot use on television. Okay. <laughs> So it's a lie. I mean, the Conservative Party is the party that was involved in whitewashing the report about Mike Duffy last week. So they would have us believe that this week they're all in favor of openness. The Liberals, as everybody will see, are wholly in favor of having the Auditor General have that kind of scrutiny. Mm -hmm. um, they're just saying, look, we just need a 24 hours to take a look at it and make some suggestions for improvements. Look at the that's fine what Parliament. Print. That's it. Yeah, that's what Parliament's all about. But as you will see, and what this person assures me, you will see is that the Liberals support it. And so Marjorie's an old pro, and she's just, just playing. Uh, she's uh, playing a bit of a game there. And well, she what's wants the game? To, well, what's she the wants game? us to forget that she was part of the operation to cover up the facts about Mike Duffy just last week. Her and her staff and her office and the Senate uh, Conservatives. So, you know, now they want to look like Paragon's openness when they've been Paragon's of secrecy and cover up just a few days but ago. But she must be a seasoned veteran because she is flipping the script and she is making it look like right or wrong. And I'm the calling her on it and I'm saying it's a damn lie. That's what the I'm saying. And I can't are use coming that other... out ahead on this one. <laughs> it looks like all the headlines the Conservatives no. are calling for an audit, Conservatives are calling for the AG to get involved. But the Liberals yeah. want Liberals to take a bit more. Call, end up, I guarantee you, the Liberals yeah. are going to call for much more comprehensive auditing power for the Auditor General and anybody else because that's what they've been asking for for days and weeks. So okay. it's uh, it's a little bit of a skirmish, but it yeah. ain't going to work. Okay, and you know what? We are going to be talking about this in the days and weeks ahead. So like you said, cream always rises to the top. So whoever <laughs> really wants to get to the bottom of the scandal, it looks like it will happen if they really want yes. it to. Let's uh, flip the script. Who, someone, everything's coming up roses now. Rob Ford. Coming up hey, roses. Right? Hey, you serious? Get this video. Who's writing this stuff for you? Are you serious? We all take part in the writing okay, here at Sundays. Sorry. Look, yeah. he's, he's doing not bad. The city, the Toronto, the city of Toronto is reporting a nice, sweet <laughs> surplus. This video that everybody talked about, that the star allegedly saw, that Gawker allegedly saw, has now disappeared. No one knows the whereabouts of this uh, particular video. I'm thinking for him, politician, Personally, it's looking pretty good. Listen, Who here, can debate I'm, that? I'm not going to be your political advisor. I'm going to be your <laughs> legal advisor, okay? And if somebody said they had a video of you smoking yeah. crack cocaine, so those are the three most serious things you can have in libel law, yeah. alleging a crime, alleging doing something that is dishonorable, and alleging that you're involved in some kind of, you know, bad Nefarious disease activity, kind of thing. Yeah. Those are the, that's called libel per se. There's nothing more serious than that. Why isn't Rob Ford suing the Toronto Star about that? I know he's running around saying there's no video that exists, mm -hmm. and we've all heard him say that. But I mean, there yeah, would he be was lawyers. He's a bit late to the game, right? He there was would a bit be, late no, to the but game. He's, got a, he's got two more weeks, yeah. right? Then he's out of time. Actually, maybe longer than that. But he's just got a few more weeks, a few more days to bring a libel action against the Toronto Star. And I guarantee you, I'm your legal advisor here, <laughs> it would be the biggest libel award in Canadian history. Yeah, so why Nothing isn't he bigger. going for it? Why isn't he doing that? Well, I think we all know why. So that stuff you were saying at the start, with the greatest respect, it's, for today, I disagree. it's looking pretty good for him. No, the city's it's, doing it's well. Lacking. He says he maintains to fight for the taxpayers yeah, of and he's Toronto. Got a surplus. And they've got a surplus of the contingent. He's got a surplus he coming out of the tax that. that he wants to get rid of. It was the land transfer tax that's given him that surplus. Yeah. He says he wants to get rid of it. I mean, the guy, to me, he's hopeless. Yeah. He is a bumbling. Is the writing on the wall for him? No. What's going to happen to him, uh, Well, Warren? because, you know, the candidate I favored in the last mayoralty campaign, one of the ideas that candidate had was recall. And, you know, it exists in B.C., it exists yeah. in California. We don't have that. There's no means to get rid of Rob Ford. Even if he's indicted, even if, you know, something comes out and he's charged with a criminal offense, he remains mayor For until he goes, years, until you go to jail, yeah, until 2014. Yeah. So there's no mechanism to get rid of him. So whether he smoked crack or not, folks, he's, we're, we're stuck with him. Okay, let me ask you, maybe this is a dangerous question. I know I'm out of time, sorry, Dave, but okay, the city's running. They're, they recorded a surplus. Whether he can take credit for that or not is a different story. The fact of the matter is, it is business as usual at City Hall. Everything seems to be doing, uh, seems to be relatively fine. Poll after poll indicates, for the majority of Torontonians, 
Sure, some people believe the video exists, but at the end of the day, they don't really care. It's not really impacting his popularity. They do care. It's down a few percent. They do care. You know, they do care. And, uh, you know, uh, somebody on Twitter sent me a note this week and said, you know, they yelled, uh, go, uh, go Toronto at a Jays game in San Diego. And the pers somebody yelled back, your mayor likes crack. Like it oh, is come on. This but is no, so but, juvenile, no, but you're you're a business reporter. I'm a political reporter. What the people think is important. Your reputation as a city and yeah. a jurisdiction, in this case the fourth largest city in North America, it's important. Do people make decisions about investment and creating jobs and moving to a place when they think that your city is run by a bunch of hillbillies? I think they do. And I think that we're gonna see that people are gonna say, you know what? Your city can't run properly. And it's not just Rob Ford. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of the people at counts on the left and the right have been doing a poor job. And I think that if you were to ask in a proper poll what people think about how the city is being run, you would find that 90% of the city's voters think it isn't being run well at all. Right. Well, you probably see that, you know, across the landscape and Rob Ford obviously not being part of that. He's I think a there's disaster. A, there's a, he's, he's, he's a, a disaster. disaster. So what? So he's going to stay in power? Is, there. is he Teflon Rob? No, he's just there. There's no mechanism to get rid, to get of, rid him. of him. And if the tape comes out and the Toronto Star, I know Gawker says they can't get it. The Toronto Star this morning, Kevin Donovan, who's the best investigative reporter in the country, Somebody's said, have a copy. I'm going to have it in Someone's two weeks. Have a copy. He said on 1010 this morning, yeah. I'm going to have it in two weeks. All right. So we're still talking about this as the day is going. <laughs> yeah, we're going to keep going. I have going. a feeling I know what I'm talking to Warren about <laughs> next week. Sudden an expense <laughs> scandal and Rob Ford. All right, Warren, as always, it's great to see you. Pleasure. Let's see how, you know, how all this pans out in the yep. days ahead. All right. Thanks so much. That, Thank of course, you. is Sun News contributor and liberal strategist Warren Kinsella, who never holds back here on Canada Live. Folks.